Today, Israeli forces have hit roughly 300 targets, including what they say is a terror stronghold at the Jabalia refugee camp. Israel says they killed 50 terrorists there. Hamas claims there were civilians. Israel, too, has suffered casualties, their first since the ground operation began. And the Israelis are apparently using something new called sponge bombs to seal up the tunnels, which we'll discuss in a moment. Now, somehow, talks to free the hostages who've been held captive for 25 days are ongoing, reportedly, even as the Israeli ground operation continues. I've got to believe that prospect is grim, but again, something else we'll talk about. And today, Secretary of State Anthony Blinken saying there are also hundreds of Americans still trapped in Gaza, essentially as de facto hostages, because Hamas won't let them leave. We're working on this every single day. We have um, about 400 American citizens and their family members, so it's uh, roughly 1,000 people uh, who are stuck in Gaza and want to get out. Um, I'm focused on this intensely. The impediment uh, is simple. It's Hamas. Uh, we've not yet found a way to get them out uh, by whatever, through whatever place and by whatever means uh, that Hamas is not blocking. Very important thing to remember there. Meantime, the Biden administration said to be pressuring Israel to show restraint amid a growing humanitarian crisis in Gaza. The U.S. aiming to get 100 aid trucks per day into Gaza. At Israel's northern border with Lebanon, IDF forces have engaged in rocket fire and skirmishes with Iran-backed Hezbollah as well. Iranian-backed militia groups have launched two dozen rockets and drone attacks on U.S. troops in Iraq and Syria. The U.S. has launched some retaliatory attacks, but Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin was questioned about this on Capitol Hill today. If this doesn't stop, then we will respond. And so uh, we remain, we maintain the, uh, the right to respond. We have the capability to do that, and we will respond at a time and place of our choosing. In a moment, we'll take more of your calls about what is happening. But first, joining me is retired Lieutenant General Mark Schwartz. He ran U.S. security coordination in Israel and the Palestinian Authority from 2019 through 2021. He's now a senior fellow at the RAND Corporation. Thanks so much for coming on. We appreciate it. Talk to us about these, these sponge bombs that Israel is apparently deploying. Well, Adam, thanks for having me on this evening. I have not seen them, um, you know, used in training uh, personally, but... The concept is that, you know, similar to what you see, like with foam for insulation in a, in a home, where it can be uh, released from a, you know, a compressed canister and then rapidly fill a, a void, and it hardens very quickly. So you can use that to block off entrances. So imagine going down, you know, a main corridor and you see um, branches coming off of that main corridor that you don't potentially, hit, you know, want to search right away or you want to prevent any type of reinforcement to come into you, you could use that foam uh, to, to seal off that entrance for a, for a period of time. All right, let me, let me ask you this. This is a report from Financial Times, and others have been suggesting this as well. I, I want you to assess for me whether you, you, you think that this is real. Uh, hostage talks with Hamas are ongoing despite Israeli incursion. Israel and Hamas have continued indirect negotiations over the release of civilian hostages seized by the Palestinian militant group despite Israeli ground forces moving deeper. A Qatari official said that the talks, which are being brokered by Doha, were ongoing, but added that the Israeli ground offensive had, quote, complicated the process. I mean, do you believe that this is real, or is this just Qatar sort of saying that it's actually happening? No, I think that characterization is correct. In fact, uh, and I, I can't recall the gentleman, but there was a member from the Israeli government that spoke about even the head of Mossad who had made a, a trip recently, he didn't go into the details of his dialogue in, in Qatar, but uh, he had met with the Qatari uh, leadership. So, and I think even the United States has, you know, commented that there is still dialogue ongoing and ideally there is. I mean, yep. despite yep. what's going on militarily, it's extremely important to keep uh, that dialogue going. No, look, and I'm glad to hear you say that. Uh, I'm, I'm certainly hoping, I think we're all hoping, that there's some you know, effort ongoing uh, that is non-military. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.